Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today I want to tell you a little bit about an experience that I had. Now, you know, I have been around for the entire digital revolution. In fact, I went to UCLA um, in 1969 and 1970. At the very same time, they were inventing the Internet on the top floor of the engineering building. And so I've kind of grown up with it, but that doesn't mean I stay current because the technology is always changing. And I ran into a problem trying to log into learn.arrl.org because that's where uh, my training videos are housed by the league. The league has an exclusive license to use these training videos and they are on their uh, learning website. Uh, now, Steve Goodgame is the guy who put all this together. He, in fact, he came to the league um, to do this kind of thing, to really help set up an online learning environment. And he keeps track of the YouTubers and stuff like that. And I had a problem all of a sudden trying to log in uh, because I tell people, if you want my technician videos, which go section for section along with the book, go to the ARRL headquarters YouTube page and they'll be there as a playlist. Now, however, the general and tech videos are behind a paywall and that paywall is you've got to be a member of the league. You know, it's kind of interesting. I was at the gas station the other day filling up my Jeep. I put in $81 worth of gasoline and I'm thinking to myself, that's normal these days, isn't it? Um, but that's more than it costs to join the league for a whole year. Joining the league for a whole year is cheaper than a tank of gas. So if you join the league, you will have the login credentials to get into the learn. Now, I ran into a problem with the settings in my browser. And uh, Steve says, well, you've got to accept third-party cookies. And I says, well, I've got Oreos and Snickerdoodles. What am I looking for here? So anyway, he sent me some specific recommendations. And I want to show you how to do this in case you are having trouble getting into the learn.arrl.org website to access not only my videos, but many other videos about various aspects of ham radio. These videos have been carefully curated. Uh, they're good stuff that you can trust as being amateur best practice. Now, does that mean we will find mistakes? Of course we'll find mistakes. Anyway, let me show you this. We're going to go to the computer and try to log in. All right, where you go to is learn.arrl.org, and that's the ARRL Learning Center. Now, this is a separate website from the league's website. They worked to try to get single sign on, a sign on but it just wouldn't work. So they have uh, this separate site here. So here you have it, and you're going to log in. And you already have your ARRL login credentials, so you log in. And then it asks you to log in again. Uh, I guess they figure you only half logged in the first time. So it says, click the login link below. The requires the use of third-party cookies. So I guess those Oreos didn't do it. Please make sure you've allowed them in your browser setting. Some may also require cross-site tracking, which means nothing to me, I must tell you. Okay, let's log in. Now, this is going to let me log in because I've fixed it. Okay, now there are my login credentials there, and I'm in, and... We're seeing uh, the learning paths. Uh, we're going to go to the on the air learning path. And in the on the air learning path, we have the technician, the extra, and the general videos are all here. They also have a look at this repeater basics, POTA, um, antenna zoning, uh, stuff like that, things that are very difficult sometimes to understand intro to contesting space and satellite communications and so on and there are on the air webinars okay so this is where you will find those 
Now the question comes in, what did I do to get there? I'll tell you what I did. Up here, if you look up here, you see these three dots in Chrome? These are in Chrome, click on those. And it comes up settings. Click on settings. Now, I'm gonna to have to refer to my notes here to see what it is we change because none of these words match what we had before. So we're gonna to go to privacy and security. Okay, and Chrome can help you keep safe from data breaches and so on. And we're going to go down to here where it says cookies and other site data. Okay. Um, now, I used to have this set up so that if I were in incognito mode, it would block third-party cookies. And that's always worked for me. Um, but what I had to do when it said allow third-party cookies, it just says allow all cookies. Okay. Notice these little icons are supposed to be cookies with a bite out of them. I guess that's Google's way of getting a, a dig at Apple. Anyway, um, so allow all cookies. And then once you have done that, you can then go back to the on the air site where the login is. I'm going to log out and then log in again, okay. Remember this is, if we go back here, okay. This is the home page for that website where the learn site is. And then you log in, log in again, okay. And now because it's got the third party cookies for Google Chrome, it says accept all cookies. This will log in again, I am told. Okay, we're logged in. We're logged in already. It, it remembered us. Remember to log out because otherwise it might keep you in. Now, there is no purchased content. The, so you can go to these learning paths, all kinds of things that are available here. It's really cool. It's in the on the air section where you can find the licensing courses. And then when you're, so uh, let's just go into one. Okay, general class, we'll just click on this. Uh, here's on the air, the amateur radio general. Okay, let's pick one. It's loading the video. There's the video. And you start playing, it's a little different from YouTube. You can start playing it here. Hello, I'm Dave. Yes, we know who you are. All right, so you see how you get to the videos, how you can keep track of them, everything like that. So let's log out and finish up here. So there you have it. I've taken a case where, you know, something needed to be done that was spoken in um, the mumbo jumbo of people who are 50 years younger than I am, who actually have brains that can understand these things. I am not a digital native. My children are. Uh, they grew up with all this stuff. But the people today have uh, grown up with a lot of stability in a lot of this stuff. So when somebody talks about third-party cookies or cross-site cookies, I don't know if that's any different from the cookies from the bakery. But in any event, there you have it. Now you know what to do so that you can get in and take a look at those things. If you're leery of cookies, after you're done, you can always go back into settings and change out of that if you want to. I wouldn't because it's a lot of hassle to do that. But if you've had problems with people hacking you through cookies, you'll want to do that. Okay, so there you have it. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please go to decastler dot com slash support find a way that works for you and until we next meet 73